how are you all doing today? Oh my gosh, so many new faces. I'm gonna have to meet everyone. Oh my gosh, this is so so exciting. Anyways, hello class. Hello, hello, hello. I am Miss Johnson, in case you don't already know that. I am the lead te well, I am the teacher of this class. And of course, do not worry, do not fret. I am a fabulous teacher. So you are all going to be just fine. I'm going to be your teacher this year. And since I'm such a great teacher, I've won many awards, yes, such as the best teacher of the year award, because of course, you know, I'm the best. Hold on, lemonade break. Mm, yum, I'm going to adjust this. Hopefully no one touched my curtains. Anyways, let's see who's in my class. Hmm, oh, oh, Philbert, you're in my class. Oh, I already knew that. That's because Philbert likes me so much, he decided to sign up to be in my class again because you know i'm such a great teacher and oh uh, filbert who is that next to you i kind of recognize him yeah <clears throat> oh it's gilbert oh wow i have your brother in my class this year well that's pretty thrilling it better be you better not misbehave gilbert i don't know how you act but you better be nice yes of course so anyways kids i am the best teacher and let's see, what are we going to get started with today? Let me check on my schedule. I'm so excited to meet you all today, but I must check and see what we're doing today first. Let's see here. And again, my name is Miss Johnson, in case you forgot. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, yes. Okay, so for our schedule today, we have to look at my very best, top-notch, very important, best ever list written by Miss Johnson for Back to School Supplies. So I'm going to look at that. Let me find it in my book. It's a very cute book, isn't it? It's pineapples. I like pineapples. Can't you tell? Also, children, I got a new fake plant. I very much like it. Do you? Oh, good. You do. You seem like a pretty nice class. Last year I had not so good of a class, but it's okay. You guys are great, so that's awesome. In fact, I almost forgot to turn on my lamp. Let me do that really quick. Be right back. Let's see here. And... Hmm. Oh, there we go. My perfect lamp. How could I ever forget to turn you on? Okay. Yes, this lamp is very important. Oh, here it is. My back to school list that most of you haven't seen yet. Well, probably none of you because I just read it today. But I'm going to read everything to you guys. All of this lovely stuff. And it is everything that is very important and necessary for you and you and you and you and you and all of you to break to school at least by next week or tomorrow if possible. So let me start. Before I read it, let me drink some lemonade. Ah, refreshing. Oh, you had a question? Yeah, what's your name? Lily? Nice to meet you, Lily. What was your question? Oh, you're wondering why Filbert was in my class again this year? Oh, it's because um, he just really liked me as a teacher, I guess, and he just thought I was a great teacher and wanted to come back. Isn't that right, Filbert? Yes. Don't worry, Filbert, I'm not gonna tell anyone you held back. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, for our back to school list, let me start, and if you guys have any extra paper or notebooks or anything like that, go ahead and get that out right now if you have it, because you're gonna write some of this stuff down, okay? Because I only have one copy. Are you ready, class? Good, okay. So, to start, so it's quite, okay, quiet down, thank you. To start, we have, to start we have 25 pencils because my last students last year always lost their pencils. So you don't want to be that class again, trust me, okay? Yes, 25 pencils, colored pencils, remember, write this down, craft beads, 20 erasers, yes, very necessary. A thick sharpie, a thin sharpie, and a regular size sharpie. And an extra thick sharpie, don't forget that. Extra eraser, 15 notebooks, just in case. 20 small notebooks, at least 100 paintbrushes or more. We're going to be using very thin ones, very thick ones for many art projects. Paint, of course. Watercolor, a canvas or two. Charcoal, pastels, and a lunch kit. You'll definitely need that fabric pencil holder, a desk, you definitely need to bring a desk because I see many of you are sitting on the floor, extra paper, three rulers, tape, duct tape, clear tape, painter's tape, 
very important tape is the best yes protractor gel pens wallets gift cards just in case sticky notes blue light glasses more sticky notes water bottle reusable water bottle backpack chair because again you were all sitting on the floor sleeping bag three emergency kits at least three maybe four would be great thank you five binders totally necessary toilet paper because the bathrooms are always out tent gifts for miss johnson oh wait um i didn't mean to say that i don't know who wrote that <laughs> sorry a uh, pen a flower pen just like me so we can match a black pen a white gel pen pe equipment pencil sharpener 400 markers do the thin markers the thick markers all of that acrylic paint microscope telescope magnifying glass books to read of course a hole puncher paper clips plastic baggies or ziplocs very important trust me let's see where were we oh here we are graph paper index cards at least a thousand lock for lockers scissors highlighters laptop calculators hand wipes and hand sanitizer you do not want to get sick trust me it's not fun lemonade packs of course construction paper chapstick gym bag glue super glue calendar a notepad because you always have to take notes in class of course so you can learn brown paper tan paper a fake plant because you know everyone needs a fake plant of course sparkly tape colorful tape <laughs> so much fun white out glass jar gloves masks don't forget your masks kid or your gloves okay class good let's see mini markers mini highlighters drawing paper watercolor paper lanyard a lanyard or more if you need to that's fine lamp lights flashlight pencil box like a plastic type hmm a whiteboard whiteboard eraser whiteboard markers power strip you know to plug stuff in mini trash can you will definitely need that there was trash all over the class last year it was not fun to clean up trust me you will want a trash can okay so keep going with the list you're definitely gonna need an extra jacket because it is very cold and you're probably gonna need a green marker and a red marker because the green you're going to make check marks and the red one is gonna make like you know x's from mistakes and stuff and let's see you probably need a few like binders and folders and stuff and you know what kids I'm gonna go to the bathroom really fast so be right back do not move Hi kids, your teacher wants you guys to get a tent, a sleeping bag, what is she having you guys go camping? Probably at Johnson Creek. <laughs> Let me tell you kids, your teacher between us is just a little bit, oh god, oh have a good day kids, you don't need all that stuff on the list, bye bye. Okay, kids, I'm back. Did I hear something? Nothing? Oh, hm. well, let's get back to the list then, shall we? Mechanical pencil, zipper pouch, pencil box, did I already say that? Oops, um, sketch pencil, hand lotion, and bug spray, and that is everything you need. I might even add some more stuff, but yes, that is everything you need for your back to school list. Thank you, kids. I will hold it up for 10 seconds and you can quickly take notes if you need to, and then we will move on. Are y'all done? Good. This is actually a good start to the school year. I am impressed of how nice the class is being. This is very good. Oh, and I apologize for my messy hair. I was in a big rush this morning. I'm so sorry. But let's continue on with our day. Let's see what we have next. Aha, here we are. Okay, so first I wanted to ask, before I do anything else, I wanted to ask you guys how you guys liked this summer party that you guys just did this summer. Was it good? We actually planned it for my last year as school students. That's why there were kids you didn't recognize, but yes, you guys went too. I'm sorry I wasn't able to go. <sighs> I was feeling a little under the weather, but I'm better now, don't worry. Yes, I'm not sick. I never get sick. <laughs> but yes, I'm better now. I will not spread any germs to you. I'm very clean. So now, well yes, I'm glad you liked the party. That's very good. Oh, what did you say for work? They didn't have ice cream. Hmm. I planned for there to be ice cream there. That's strange. 
Well, anyways, okay, so everyone please get out your writing notebooks and go to page... Well, I guess we're going to start on page one, that's fine. Okay, go to page one, please. Yes, all your writing books are back there, back at the class. Thank you. Everyone have them? Okay, raise your hand when you're done. Okay, good. So, turn to page one, and we're just going to do a couple of the questions. I actually have them right here. So, on, on your books, number one, for this question, is it there or there? There as in T-H-E-I-R or T-H-E-Y-R-E? -E. Which one is it? You know the answer? Yes? Yeah, good job. Okay, so just circle that one in your book. Good job. Okay, and the next one, which your is it? Is it the first one or the second one? Yes, you know? Yeah, good job. Okay, mark that off. Okay, now there's a couple ones you can just do on your own after this, but really quick. Okay, number three. Write in detail about what you did on summer break. Yeah, you can do that one later, kids, because it might take a little bit longer. And then number four, write three things you enjoy doing in your free time. So you can go ahead and do that, and then do some of the other questions that are on there. So yes, just do that, and let me know when you are done. I'm just going to organize my pens while you do that. Good job, kids. Keep going. Let me know when you're done. Keep working. Gilbert and Filbert, hey, please stop talking. Don't talk. Thank you. Keep working. Okay, it looks like most of you are done. That's good. Raise your hand when you're done. Okay, good. I was thinking, yeah, you guys can put your books away, that's fine. I was thinking, since some kids seem to not already know the rules here, Gilbert and Filbert, even though you were in my class last year, <laughs> um, we are going to go over the rules for the classroom. There aren't many, well, I guess there kind of are, but we will go over them. Are you ready? Good. Okay, so, first rule is never to eat in class and do not bring food unless it is your lunch. And you cannot eat lunch in here, unless it is a rainy day. Okay, that's the first rule. Second rule, no fidget toys or toys or bouncy balls or anything like that. None of that in this classroom that is not allowed. Number three, never talk when the teacher is talking. Hey, hey, do not talk. That was just a rule. Thank you, Gilbert. Excuse me. And number five, was I even on number five? I don't know because you interrupted me. I think it was on number four. No more interrupting. Yes, and that's the fourth rule, is no interrupting anyone else when they're speaking. Number five is if you want to ever talk, you must raise your hand. And number six is never accept anything from the principal who walks in this room. She was pretty strange last year. Got it? Okay, there's a few more rules, but we'll just go over those later. For now, I want you to get out your math books. Yes, math. Again, they're in the back corner. And you guys can just keep them under your desk for when you're done. But yes, go on page one and do everything that it tells you to do, please. Hurry, chop, chop. Good. Very good. Yes, so just do whatever you're going to do on that page, and I'll just make some notes on here. Keep going, kids. Good job. Do your math. Oh, you kids are done? Perfect. Yes, good job. Put your books back. Oh, students, I wanted to show you. Do you like this little fox I found? Isn't it very cute? I actually found it left over from a different teacher who was substituting in my class, which is very strange, and I don't even like foxes, but I thought it was cute, so I'm going to keep it. Yes. And I actually think next on the schedule is PE, the first time today, so I hope you kids have fun with that. Not you, Flipper. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, you better all behave at PE. Okay, Filbert and Gilbert? You better behave. Gilbert, aren't you like a city in Arizona or something? Whatever. Anyways, okay. So everyone, you can... Oh, the bell. Okay, you guys can go... Hey, do not... Nope, the bell does not dismiss you. I do. Okay? Thank you. That is our sixth rule. So, now... Oh, I just remembered. Our seventh rule is never litter in class. But yes, we'll go over all the hundreds of rules later. Uh-huh. Yeah, it'll be very fun. And now you can go to PE. Go ahead, get your gym bags, whatever you need, your water bottles. And I'll see you guys right after. Because right after PE, you go straight to lunch and you come back here. So yeah, I'll see you kids after that. See you in a minute. Wow, they're actually behaving. <laughs> Didn't know I could ever get such a good class for once. 
Interesting. Oh, you kids are back from PE and lunch. How was it? Did you like PE? Yeah? That's awesome. And did you like lunch too? I'm sure you did. Okay. Amazing. Excellent. Perfect. Brilliant. Okay, so I just cleaned my desk while you guys were gone because it was messy, but it's very clean now. Now it's clean. And, oh, what, what did you say? Oh, your stomach hurts from PE? Oh, um, oh, you want to leave school early? Okay, um, you can use the phone over there if you want. Just dial 10 and it'll call the front desk. So, yeah, you can just do that if you want. Kids, don't look at her. Don't embarrass her. Just get your, just pay attention to your steps. Don't be rude. That is the eighth rule in this class. Don't be rude. So yes. Oh, they said they can come and pick you up. Oh, the office called them. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. You can just go to the office right now. Well, I hope you feel better. See you later. Bye. Hmm, that's interesting. I hope she didn't get sick because of one of you kids. Hopefully it was just from PE, not from an actual sickness, because I would not want a sickness spreading in this class. That would be very bad. Well, anyways, it looks like school is almost about over anyway. Well, anyways, it looks like school is about over, so I guess I'm going to have to let you kids go. You actually were a pretty nice class so far. I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. I have something very special planned. We're going to see what it is. Okay, kids, well, you're dismissed. Take all your backpacks, and don't forget that back to school is you must have all that stuff by tomorrow, or at least by next week, okay? It's very important. Got it? Okay, bye, class. See you later. See you tomorrow. <sighs> that was exhausting. They better be nicer tomorrow. Well, they were pretty nice today, but whatever. <laughs>